coming into the league, Victor Wembanyama was being called the greatest prospect in NBA history. While those expectations seemed improbably high, Wembanyama has been as good as we could have hoped. As a 19-year-old, Vic is averaging nearly 20 and 10, and he's been dominant on the defensive end. He has all the tools to become the best player in the world, but he isn't there quite yet. In today's video, I'm going to highlight Wemby's strengths and talk about what he can do to reach his full potential. Before we get into it, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the season, and your support goes a long way. With all of that being said, let's get into the video. There are so many good things to say about Wemby, but what stands out the most is his defense. He's 7'4", has an 8-foot wingspan, and is extremely agile. We haven't seen many players his size be able to move like he does, and it's been an adjustment for other teams. There are so many plays where Wemby seems to be out of the picture, only to cover tons of ground for a block. On this play, Wemby starts in help position on the weak side, and when the cross-court pass comes, he's able to close out and block the three. He takes up so much space on the floor, and it's very hard to play against. Even if an offensive player is being guarded by someone else, they still have to account for Vic. He has great anticipation skills, and he knows exactly when to leave his man to provide help. Another area he's excelled in is pick and roll defense. Because he's so lengthy, he's able to take away the shot and the pass. This puts guards in a tough spot, and it usually doesn't end well for them. He will need to get stronger, but it's not hurting him too much on defense. Players have been able to attack his body, but there are many times where his length makes up for it. One thing he does need to work on is his defensive discipline. Wemby has enough size and length to bother virtually anyone. While he isn't completely erratic, he jumps on shot fakes more often than you'd like, which puts him out of position or leads to fouls. This play against Jokic is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Wemby plays great D, initially blocking Jokic's shot. However, once Jokic recovers the ball, Vic becomes very jumpy which puts him at a disadvantage and allows Jokic to score. If he simply stayed on his feet here, he may have been able to force a miss. All things considered, Wemby is already an elite defender. He may make an all-defensive team as a rookie, but it's his potential on offense that makes him so exciting. Because he's so tall, Wemby is such a big target in the paint. All his teammates have to do is throw the ball in his general area, and most times he's able to finish. It doesn't even matter how accurate the pass is, because Wemby can finish with one hand, or with a contorted body. I really like this play where Collins sets a screen for Wemby, forcing Gordon to switch, which makes the lob even easier to execute. Vic draws so much attention as a lob threat, and the more San Antonio takes advantage of this, the better looks they'll get on offense. Another benefit of being so tall is that he can get his shot off over anyone. Wemby's at his best when he's decisive and simply rises up over his defender. As long as he gets decent position in the mid or low post, he's going to get a good look. When you're 7'4 and have a smooth jumper, you're guaranteed to be great at finishing plays. However, what makes Wemby special is his ability to make plays on the move. While his overall 3 point percentage is low, he's pretty good on off the dribble threes. The volume isn't too high, but the percentages are promising. According to NBA.com, Vic is hitting 30% of his threes off one dribble, 42% of his threes off two dribbles, and he's 37% on three to six dribbles. This opens up driving lanes for him because the defense has to respect his pull-up three. Unfortunately, he isn't nearly as efficient on catch and shoot threes. He attempts nearly four spot-up threes per game, but he's only converting on 23.4% of them. One thing I've noticed is that a lot of his threes are strong. During one of his games, Doc Rivers pointed out that he's rushing his three-point shots, which may be the case. For some players, taking shots off the dribble can feel more comfortable because you can establish a rhythm as you go up to shoot. When you're in a catch-and-shoot situation, you may be standing upright or slightly off balance, and you have to quickly adjust as the ball comes your way. Obviously, you'd like to see his percentages rise, but there's reason for hope. For one, his shot looks very nice, and two, he's a really good free throw shooter. Wemby's averaging just over 4 free throw attempts per game, and he's making 82.9% of them. Good free throw shooting often indicates that a player can become a good jump shooter, so there's reason for optimism. As I mentioned, defenses have to respect his off the dribble threes, 
and if he can become a reliable spot up shooter, he'll be deadlier out of the triple threat as well. For a player his size, Wemby has tremendous guard skills. If you watch a Spurs game, Wemby will have a few plays where he looks like a 6'3 guard and not a 7'4 big. If you just saw his highlights, you'd think Wemby were a flawless offensive player, but that's not the case. For every crazy highlight, Wemby makes a careless mistake that goes unseen. He has too many moments where he makes a lazy pass, is loose with his dribble, or forces up a bad shot. Wemby is an extremely talented player, he just isn't using his talents in the most effective way. For example, he has a bad habit of catching the ball very far from the basket. While he does have the ability to shoot over anyone, it's tough to make a shot when a defender is pressed up underneath you. He can also get himself in trouble when he tries to dribble out of these situations. I mentioned that his slight frame isn't hurting him too much on defense, but it is on offense. When he catches the ball far from the basket, he isn't able to move his defender back. When you combine this with his sometimes loose dribble, it results in difficult shots and turnovers. Once he adds more strength, he'll be able to establish good post position more often. This will increase his efficiency and make him a harder player to guard. A good comparison for Wemby is Giannis Antetokounmpo. For his size, Giannis is a great ball handler and passer. However, when you compare him to the top guards in the league, they're simply better than him in those areas. Mike Budenholzer received a lot of criticism in the past because he used Giannis as a point forward too often. This isn't to say that Giannis can't dribble or can't pass, it's just not the most effective way to use him. The same thing can be said for Wemby. He can handle the ball, read the defense and make nice passes, and hit difficult shots. The point is, his guard-like skills should be treated as a luxury, and not a necessity in the Spurs offense. I'm not too worried about this though, because San Antonio is a great organization. Popovich is clearly being experimental this season, and there's more of an emphasis on development than trying to win as many games as possible. This is part of the reason why Wemby is trying so many different things on offense. Early on in the season, Popovich said that the Spurs would be giving him freedom to shoot three-pointers and learn when it's a good time to shoot and when it's not. San Antonio will use this season to establish a baseline for improvement. They'll see what Wemby does well, what he doesn't do so well, and develop him accordingly. I'm confident this will go well because the Spurs are so well respected and Wemby seems to be very mature. Popovich has praised him for his maturity, saying that Wemby is one of the most mature 19 year olds he's ever met and that he has the mental framework needed to become a superstar. Ahead of the draft, Wemby appeared on JJ Reddick's podcast. When Reddick asked Wemby how he deals with all the pressure, he said that he doesn't feel pressure because he sees himself as being free in the universe and that he tries to play with that same freedom on the court. He also said that he's driven not by fame or money, but by feeling the strongest possible sense of accomplishment in life. As I've touched on in this video, Wemby is not a perfect player. There are areas of improvement for him, but I believe he'll get better. He takes great care of his body, he's extremely mature, and he was drafted by a historically great franchise. Nowadays, there are so many prospects that receive immense levels of hype, but Wemby seems like one of the few that can actually live up to it. He probably won't win Rookie of the Year or be an All-Star in Year 1 like most people expected. However, once he has a few years of experience and development under his belt, I expect him to be in conversations for the best player in the world. Anyways, that's going to be all for today's video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. With all of that being said, I'm out, and I'll see you in the next video.